Welcome to Doodle with Dan, Doodlers. Each week, we get together and we take some simple shapes and we draw some funny pictures. And after we draw the funny pictures, we color them while I tell the story. So today, we're gonna draw and we're gonna talk about friendship, okay? Now, we all have friends, right? You have friends and I have friends. Let's think about our friends for a moment. Right now, can you do that? Let's all close our eyes and imagine our friends. Are you imagining a friend? Think about your friend, someone special who's really important to you. Are you thinking of a boy or a girl? What color is their hair? Does your friend wear glasses? Has your friend lost some teeth recently? Are they short, tall? You know, when I close my eyes and I think about a friend, I think of my buddy Paul. And my friend Paul is tall and he's got hair on his face and some on his back, but you know, very little on his head. But here's the main thing about my friend Paul. He almost always has a big, big, friendly smile on his face. Hey, that's exactly what my friend Paul looks like. And you know why? Because this is my friend Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Dan. Thanks for joining me on Doodling with Dan. Thank you for letting me be here. Yeah. Okay, when you were imagining your friend, did you imagine a friend that looks like my friend Paul? Was it Paul? I mean, he does have a lot of friends. And you know why? Because Paul really, really loves and takes care of friends really well. And that's what friends do, right? And Paul has always taken really good care of me. That's why he's here today, to doodle and draw like a good friend. Thank you, Dan. So what do you say we draw what friendship looks like? <gasps> now you're probably going, what does friendship look like? Yeah. Well, all around the world, when people picture or they want to draw or show what friendship is, they use a dog. <gasps> Dogs are a symbol of friendship everywhere. I love dogs. Me too. Oh, yeah. So today, you, my friends, and I, we're all going to draw a dog. Okay, let's get started. Now, like always, we're going to use simple shapes. And the shapes we're going to use today are our peanut shapes. Oh. Peanut shapes. I love peanuts. No, me oh. too. Mm -hmm. And circles. Do you love circles too? Uh, donuts. Or... Do donuts are circles. I like donuts. Donuts, yes. And then we're going to do some rectangles. Remember, those are just stretched uh, out squares. Like a Pop-Tart. Like a, Kind of like a Pop-Tart, yes. Rectangles. And we're going to do triangles. Oh, like a Dorito. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I see a pattern here. You yes. like food too. It's yep. triangles, and we're gonna do some squish circles that are ovals, oh. like that. And then we're also gonna do some crescent moons. We do a mm. lot of crescent moons. I feel like it's like a Lucky Charms. <laughs> yes. So here we go. Let's get started with our shapes. So for starters. We're gonna draw a peanut shape at the very top, just like this. There we go. Yeah, good job, ball. Thanks. A peanut shape. Hmm. And now we're gonna do another peanut shape oh. right below it. Except here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna draw the entire bottom. So we're gonna do the one side of the peanut like that. And then the other side of the peanut, like that. Ooh. And then we're going to draw our rectangles or pop tarts. Ooh. We're going to draw one line all the way down here, like this. If you get pop tarts, what's your favorite? Blueberry. Ooh. And then another line right here. So you got two lines, and then let's put one more in the middle, and we have basically 
two pop tarts. Yeah, without a top and a bottom. So, let's put some. Does that look like a dog yet to you? It looks like a guitar. It looks like a guitar. You're right. But it's gonna be a dog. Oh. So now let's take some circles and let's put some feet mm. on the bottom of our dog. Right below those lines. One, two, three. So I've got three like oh. that. And I tell you what, let's just keep going and put some more. I'm gonna add some more there. So I've got on each side, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And now we're gonna take some more peanut shapes, only half a peanut, and like right in the middle where our peanut kind of bows in, mm -hmm. let's add half a peanut shape here, like that. And half another peanut shape over here, like that. Have you ever had circus peanuts? I have. I am not a fan of the circus peanut. I love circus peanuts. <laughs> yeah, and now let's put, what we're gonna do is we've got, we've got our head, we got our body, we got our legs, and we got our feet. And now let's do the face. <gasps> Let's start with a nose, a circle, right in the middle of the bottom. There we go. Yes, just like that. You're doing great, Paul. And do dogs have a good sense of smell? They do. Mm. Dogs' smell is like two times better than mine. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And so now, let's take a little half, half circle for a mouth, just like that. Yours is a happy dog. Yes, mine's gonna be a happy dog. Mm. And then two more half, tiny half circles at the top of that for his cheeks. See, like that. And then one line from the top of his nose, bottom of his nose, down to the top of his mouth. Look <gasps> at that. Oh. Our doggy's smiling. Oh. Now then, we're gonna take ovals. Remember the squish circles. We're gonna mm. take the squish circles and let's make their eyes. One squish circle and two squish circles. Those are the eyes. Yeah, and then we're gonna put black dots in there for pupils. And I always like to have my pupils pointed to the center like that. Good job, Paul. Thanks. Now we're gonna take crescent moon shapes, upside down crescent moons for the eyebrows. Can I make a unibrow for you, my dog? Yes, you can. You can do anything you want. And you can too, kids. If you wanna do whatever kind of changes you want, you do it. Show them yours, Paul. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna put another crescent moon. My doggy has two eyebrows like that. Now, what is that dog missing? Uh, ears. Ears, ears. Yes. So we're gonna take our triangles, or Doritos. Oh. And we're gonna put upside down triangles. One, mm. there's one triangle, one Dorito, one ear. And then just do the other side, just like it. My dog's got big ears. Yes, he does. Look at that. Show them yours. Great job. There's still one thing that doggy is missing. Uh, <gasps> a tail. A tail. Let's take another crescent moon Ooh. and let's put it right over here on the side for a tail. Kind of, there we go. And mm. now, our doggies. There we go. But well, here's my dog. I need, I want to put some spots on him. Oh. You know, lots of dogs, their name is Spot. Oh. So I'm going to just take circles, um, half circles all around, and I'm going to put circles and spots on my dog. Oh. Like that. And I'm just going to keep going and put them all over. Put some on his legs. It's a Dalmatian. Kind of, it can be. Oh. If it's white with black spots, 
and we'll see. I'm not sure how I'm gonna color mine yet. Oh. Do you know how you're gonna color yours? Purple and pink. There we go. <sighs> That's kind of like the unicorn. Oh, was the, oh, wow. Okay, there we go. So there's our doggy. So now, I'm gonna tell a story while we, while we color. <gasps> okay, so God made everything, right? He made the sun, the stars, the moon, he made lions and warthogs and pollywogs and puppies. Mm. Yeah. But God's favorite thing that he made, you know what it was? People. People like you, people oh. like me, and people like you. Which means that God also created friendship and friends. And there's some really cool stories in the Bible about friends. So today, I'd like to tell you a story about some friends named Naomi and Ruth. It's a story I like to call, Friends Are Like Family. Hmm. Friends are like family. So, a long time ago, long before Jesus was even born, there was a woman named Naomi. And Naomi grew up in Judah, the same place where Jesus grew up, years and years later. But after Naomi got married, her husband, he moved her to his home, a place called Moab, far, far away. And that's where Naomi settled and lived for years and years. And Naomi and her husband had children. And they had a home and they had friends all in Moab. Did they have a dog? They probably did. Oh. The Bible doesn't tell us that, but they might have. Hmm. Yeah. But Naomi, she missed her home in Judah. Hmm. And when Naomi was older and her sons were grown and they got married, and they got married themselves and something really bad happened. Naomi's husband died, and that made her very sad. But she still had her sons to take care of her, and, but then something else bad happened. Her sons died, leaving Naomi all alone. And Naomi thought, there's nothing left for me in Moab, and I need to go back to Judah. Maybe I still have some family that remember me back in Judah. Well, Naomi's son, who had died, he had gotten married to a woman named Ruth. And when Ruth heard that Naomi was gonna leave and go back home to Judah, she wanted to go with her. But Naomi said, Ruth, you should stay here in Moab. This is your home. You don't know anybody in, in Judah or, or have any family or any friends. Ruth looked at her and said, but I, I will have you. Hmm. Ruth took Naomi by the hand and said, wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you sleep, I will sleep. Wherever you, your people will be, they will be my people. Mm. And your God will be my God. And that's a great friend, isn't that's it? That's a great friend. Yeah. So Naomi and Ruth, they left together. And their dog. Okay, let's say they had a dog. Yeah. So Ruth, Naomi, and their dog, they walked and they walked and they walked. For days and days, they walked, Ruth and Naomi, and their dog. Hmm. They crossed rivers, they traveled over deserts, up hills and down valleys. They walked side by side, these friends and their dog. Hmm. They walked until they finally got to Judah. And when they got to Judah, which is a country, they went to the town of Bethlehem. And when the people of Bethlehem saw Naomi, they were so happy. They said, look, it's Naomi, our sister. She's come home. Everyone in Bethlehem was so excited to see Naomi back home and happy that she brought her friend Ruth mm. and their dog to Bethlehem. Now, Bethlehem sounds familiar, doesn't it? It does. Why? That's where Jesus is. He's yes. born. That's right. That's where Jesus was born, in a manger in Bethlehem. And guess what? After Naomi and Ruth, when they settled into Bethlehem and they settled into Judah, well, Ruth ended up falling in love. And she married a man. And that man's name, do you know his name? Uh, tell me. Boaz. Boaz. The man's name was Boaz, and they were married, and Ruth and Boaz, they started a family, and they had kids. And dogs. And dogs. 
and their kids grew up, and their dogs grew up, huh? and they had their own families and their own dogs, and they had their own kids, and their kids grew up and had kids and probably had dogs too, yes. right? And they kept growing and having more kids and so on and so on and so on until it came to a man named Joseph. You know Joseph? Mm -hmm. I know who his son was. Yeah, because he was told by an angel what? That he would have a baby. And who was that baby? Jesus. Yes. Isn't that great the way God yes. works? God makes us and he makes friendship and he takes those friends, like the, to see like what happened there with them. He took two friends, Naomi and Ruth, and led them back to Bethlehem, where Ruth started a family, and they grew and grew for years and years, and eventually that family gave us Jesus. Hmm. Ruth's great-grandson, you know who he was? Who? Um, he was a king named David. <gasps> it's the same David? Yes, that the, you did the giant. Yes, oh. David fought the giant Goliath. Oh, and yes. David wrote this about friends. A friend loves you all the time. Psalm 17, 7. And, and David I, had a good friend. Yes. Jonathan. That's right. There's friend, good stories about oh. friends all over. And it's just great. A friend loves all the time. That's just true, right? Right. Oh, and that's what you are, Paul. Oh. You are my friend. You are my friend. Yeah, and you love me all the time. All the time. Yeah. Okay, thanks for coming and Thank doing this you. with me. And so now, everybody, have a great weekend. And until next time, keep doodling, keep happy, and keep healthy. We'll see you again on Doodling with Dan.